was just making a video for a friend and I was telling him that in the last two years or so, and this is what I wanted to talk to you about, the last two years or so, I have been confounded about what my message is, like what the heart of my message is. I've known for quite some time that I was being prepared for something and that I was being led toward something. I've known for a while that I would have a platform and that I would have a community. Like I've, I've known that, but I was always just a little unsure. Well, okay, once the audience is there, once the platform is there, once the community is there, what am I supposed to be telling these people? And I played around with a lot of subjects along the way. And I focused on the things that were of, of interest to me, like intuitive abilities and symbols and angels. And I had classes and that was really awesome. For a while I did coaching and mentoring and intuitive readings. And that was really awesome. But still, I didn't really know what that message was. I don't know if you've ever asked yourself what the mission statement of your life actually is. Like if you could boil down your purpose or the one thing you would want somebody to know, not necessarily about yourself, but about life, about the world, what would that statement be? I think we all need to get in touch with what our message is and also the medium or the method to deliver that message. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because it's only recently become clear to me what I'm supposed to be sharing with people. And I'll share it in many forms, of course, but I think I'm able to boil it down. And I wanted to talk to you about it today. A lot of what you see of me on YouTube consists of teaching on signs and wonders. Jesus called signs and wonders those miracles. It's always fascinating to people to talk about ghosts or to talk about paranormal activity or to talk about evidences. People have always, since time immemorial, been interested in those things. Of course, it's fascinating. And so a lot of my content out there, the free stuff, deals specifically with certain signs and wonders and also intuitive abilities and things like that. But that's really not where spirit is leading me. And I think that's why we've developed the lab in the way that we have, because there are other teachers, I think, here who are really good at teaching that. And there are other examples here who can step forward and teach in these specific areas. But for quite some time now, Spirit has been leading me toward that realm of metaphysical information that is almost unspeakable or unarticulatable, meaning you feel it for the most part. Gnosis, G-N-O-S-I-S. -S. You know it on an energetic level, but to speak of it, to share or to find a way to teach it, that's a different matter entirely. And spirit has been moving me into this sort of nameless, spokenless place. What I think Source wants us all to know is that at our purest, at our mo most basic, most fundamental, at our most total, like the totality of who we are, we are divine. What does that even mean though? A lot of people say that. What does it mean to be divine? It means we are super consciousness. When we talk about consciousness, in this reality, we're talking about our consciousness, our awareness as Crystal Ann Compton, this person in this incarnation. That's not consciousness. That's just the interface and result as a result of our mind and our brain and our life processing things. Our consciousness, our actual consciousness is omnidimensional, meaning in every dimension. It is omnipresent, meaning everywhere at all times. That's what our consciousness is. And if you believe that, if you live your life in a state of knowingness of that, 
You live your life as a god. Small g. Small g. But you live your life as a magician. You live your life in a completely empowered way. In order to find out what my message was, what I could boil it down into, I had to look and reflect on those things that caused me to feel and caused me to want to help. And what I want to help is this fundamental misunderstanding of who it is that we are. Imagine a world, if you would, where people had hope, where people knew that they knew that they knew, that everything that they did counted, not in a way so as to have a demerit system. We roll the demerit. Oh, another sin by Crystal and Cop. Nope. Everything we do creates. Everything we do manifests. Imagine a world where people understood that when we wink out of this existence, there's a whole nother ball game that we enter into. And it matters how we've conducted ourselves here. It matters how much we've loved. It matters how kind we've been to one another. Imagine if we were all in touch with that and we were in integrity around it. Like, I wake up today and I'm remembering that. That my love is what counts. My kindness is what counts. And my access is what counts. My access to the I am that I truly am. That's the magic. Talk about signs and wonders. Oh, you want signs and wonders? That's what it is. If you can connect with that, the I am that I am, your divine nature, then all of those signs and wonders just happen so effortlessly. And by the time they start popping up, okay, all the abundance, all the prosperity, all the healing, all the opportunities, all the possibilities, you don't even care because you're flowing. You're just in it. It's a river of opportunity. It's a river of magic. And you're just a part of it. That's who you are. What if we lived in a world where people knew that they intelligent, they could intelligently design their life. Like they could get themselves out of a bad situation, an abusive relationship, a hard time, a period of lack, scarcity, poverty. What if they knew like bone deep, they knew it. I can change this. In fact, I can control this. In fact, I am a super consciousness that is not limited by my bank account. My super consciousness is not limited by my abusive husband or father or my weird friend or my bad job. My super consciousness is never limited by my wellness or lack thereof. What if we lived in a state of constant possibility, potential and actualization? That's what I want people to know. That's what, can you connect to that hearts? If you can connect to that, that's who you are. That's who you are. And in this state of super consciousness, your I am, your omnidimensional self, your God, you are profoundly loved and you are love. And in every iteration, every incarnation, every life, and I believe we're having simultaneous lives, people in, in parallel universes, that's what physics is telling us. Metaphysics has told us that for a long time. I believe it. In every iteration, this is just one, Crystalline Compton, one aspect, one iteration, I am loved. I am loved. And so I'm excited because I found it. And it's so simple. <laughs> the message is so simple. I think I've been blessed with a, a specific facility for speaking, for articulation, but I haven't been blessed in other ways, okay, for real. How have you been blessed to bring your message into this world, and what is it? Don't you know that there's no other reason that you're here than to do something with your life that's meaningful? I'm not just talking passively, okay? We have kids, that's meaningful. We get married, that's meaningful. We do this job, that's meaningful. No. If you were born at this time during profound shift and expansion of consciousness, 
you have come here to do something very important. What is it? Are you in touch with it? Do you want to be in touch with it? I can tell you how. One of the most frequent, common questions that teachers, readers, and healers in the lab get from members is, what's my purpose? Am I supposed to do this with my life? There's a lot of uncertainty out there with people. They don't know what they're supposed to, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because if you take the focus off of what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do it? What kind of education am I supposed to have? What kind of platform do I need? And pivot and focus instead on the energy of the I am and flowing with that, then the purpose reveals itself. And for that matter, you never want to ask somebody else what your purpose is. You want to come to that on your own. And I'm almost 50. How dare you bring that up? How dare you? I like to talk about it. I like it, <laughs> but I'm almost 50. Honey, it wasn't until last year that I got in touch with the mission statement for my life and I got real clear about what I want to say to people and what I want to do with my life. Start where you are. The demographic for the lab tends to be people in their 30s to 60s, okay? We have a lot of younger people and we have people who are older, but we tend to be kind of right in the middle of life. And a lot of us find ourselves in our 30s, 40s, 50s, and we think, well, it's kind of late. Why should I start now? I'm too old. Nobody takes me seriously. How do I start? How do I begin? Well, do you know that Louise Hay didn't start the Hay House Publishing Co Company, Juggernaut Publishing House, until she was in her 50s? I think she wrote You Can Heal Your Life when she was in her 40s. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I think she started moving generally in the direction of that kind of work, like in her late 30s. You're never going to be younger than you are right now. You're never going to be younger than you are right now. And at the end of the day, what I want to say is there's reason to hope. There's reason to search. Keep searching. There's reason to keep attempting to connect to spirit. Spirit always honors that. If it is the desire of your heart to know who the creator is and to know who you are, if it is the desire of your heart to feel empowered by your divine nature, say it out loud. Tell spirit. Spirit honors that. Spirit likes action steps, by the way. Spirit likes when we say, I want it. We say it out loud. As a man speaks, so he is. And then we do something about it. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to take a class. I'm going to find a fellowship. Spirit honors action. I just want to encourage everybody. <sighs> I have felt like I have needed to censor myself because we're getting bigger and I'm getting bigger, not fat, but that too. <laughs> no, but I felt like concerned about not being authentic about myself, about my life, about my limitations. Once I figured out what I wanted to say, I started worrying about, am I the right vessel? Like all of these things happen, right? Because I'm a human being and I doubt. I always want to be able to be 100% honest with you guys and show you who it is that I am and pop up from time to time and to connect with you. Here's the thing. <laughs> you know, we've got this Me Too movement, right? And we've got a lot of act, act, activism going on. We've got, I think we're on the tip, by the way, of Holly Weird imploding with light shining in to all of the abuse, all the pedophilia. Like we're in this, <laughs> we're in this, this place though where you have to be really careful about how you put yourself out there. We're starting to get real PC. I don't like it. I'm old school. 
we're starting to really monitor what people say and then we judge them about that and then we characterize them and say you are that because you said that and now we're going back in the records we're going back into the into the 90s into the 80s i'm not talking about rapists and pedophiles yes bring the light into them i'm talking about you and me it's getting harder for some of us and you know i think about oh god <laughs> i'll just wait right here while you go back into my 20s <laughs> i'll just wait right here while you go back into my second marriage and see all of the stupid things that I did with my life. But you know, it's, it's in those moments where we trip up that we have the ability to learn. And I'm not gonna stop being who it is that I am. Sometimes I say, fuck, fuck, who cares? I'm not gonna stop being who I am because that's why we're here. We're here to be super consciousness in a human form. And hi, my name is Crystal Ann Compton. Super consciousness all day, every day, but in a human form that says, fuck, who in her 20s was a rageaholic, who in her 30s was not a good wife, who could have done so much better in all these areas of my life, but I will never be younger than I am right now. And I'm here, I'm present, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go Go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.